Welcome to this special edition of Geeking Off. In this episode, we're going to take Arch Linux right up against Windows 10 to see which one performs better. Computers, gaming, retro gear, devices, and reviews, and more. Geeking off with Android. Now in this test, there's going to be a few different tiers of how basically I use the system. We're going to do the Valley Benchmark. Uh, the Geek, uh, I believe it's called the Geek Benchmark. Um, boot up time, 4K rendering, and we're going to see how this new system performs between Windows 10 and Arch Linux. For our first benchmark here, we went ahead and ran Eugene Valley. As you can see here from this test, it is the Arch Linux test. Using OpenGL, Arch Linux scored a 76.3 in the frames per second department. Minimum frames per second, 39.2, and max frames per second, 131.1. So let's go ahead and see how Windows 10 fared. From this, just ignore that uh, Eugene Valley uh, detected Windows 10 as Windows 8. With that aside, oh, using OpenGL, looks like uh, Windows 10 uh, beat it here with uh, frames per second 82.8 and a minimum frames per second at 37.5 and max frames per second at 157.6. Yeah, and that's using OpenGL. As we can see, Windows 10 took a slight higher, you know, advantage over Arch Linux in this department. However, if we switch things up and use DirectX, the score is a much better situation here. As we can see, frames per second, 92.6, and our minimum frames per second, 37.6. Max frames per second, 187 frames per second. So, using uh, DirectX over OpenGL gives you a higher advantage in extra frame rateage. I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna have to give, uh, give this first point to Windows 10. Now for this next benchmark, I went ahead and this was requested by Mr. Macro from the Geeking Off podcast, one of my co-hosts, and he suggested Geekbench. So I decided to give it a try. And as again, results are interesting. In Arch Linux, our single score uh, was 5,011. Multi-core score, 16,269. Ooh, yeah, I like it when a number ends like that. However, guess what? As again, Windows 10, by a very, very small margin, beat Arch Linux for the single score at 5,052, and the multi-core at 16,629. Ooh, not looking good for Arch Linux here. Looks like uh, Windows 10 gets another point. As again, by a very small margin. Margin. What is Arch Linux going to do? It's got to definitely pick up its steps because Arch Linux is not looking very good here. For our next little test is going to be boot time. For the boot time time, we're going to start the timer at the moment I hit the power button, as you can see here. And we're just going to let both systems boot up until they get to the login screen. Once they're at login screen, we're going to go ahead and cut off the timer. Oh boy, them were some interesting results. Looks like Arch Linux came in at one minute and one second. Well, Windows 10 came at one minute, three seconds. Uh, about time uh, Arch Linux got the upper hand here. It looks like uh, Arch Linux has earned itself a point here. Current score is Windows 10 2 and Arch Linux 1. 
There's one final test here I definitely want to run, and it is 4K video editing and rendering. For our first test, we're going to go between Lightworks, and then we're going to compare it between Lightworks, because that's the only thing Linux has in its on its side, versus Adobe Premiere, which uses CUDA support. Lightworks does not support CUDA. It uses CPU rendering for the editing and uh, rendering, um, for exception of Premiere, using the CUDA for editing and rendering. So let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? Now, in this little test here, I am just showing my previous uh, new rig video that I did. And as you can see in the preview under Lightworks with 4K, you'll notice that the video lags from time to time. It just freezes up, then starts going, lags up, freezes up, and keeps going. However, in Premiere, it is buttery smooth. Yeah, look at that buttery smoothness. Mmm, that CUDA support. Oh, yeah. What's interesting is results were exactly the same under Lightworks in Windows 10 and Arch, showing that this is a software issue and not OS related. For this part of the test, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this uh, one minute video clip of this Weeboo dancing to a Hannah Montana song called, uh, you know, The Best of Both the West. <laughs> While he sits here and dances his way off, we're going to go ahead and render this in Lightworks. Now, in both Windows 10 and Arch Linux, the time to render that 1 minute 4K footage was 7 minutes and 36 seconds. Let's go ahead and uh, do this uh, same rendering of the same video clip in Adobe Premiere using CUDA support. As you can see here, Premiere took this same clip and did it in one minute and 39 seconds. To end all that, I think the editing portion, just because of Adobe Premiere giving me the upper edge, but Lightworks performing exactly the same under Windows 10 and Linux, I'm gonna give them both a point here. So where does that leave us? That leaves us at Windows 10 3 and Arch Linux 2. Unfortunately, I know what I have to do here. As a person, I kind of agree with what Chris Fisher said on his vlog on YouTube about how in some situations we do, we do want to run Linux for everything. But unfortunately, I have a high-end video card and I want to use it to edit video. So unfortunately, I have to agree with Chris Fisher, as you can see from this clip. With this computer behind me, that's a Linux machine. But often I'll have a Mac right there off to my side. And this conflict, while well, I'm the host of the Linux Action Show, how dare I use a Mac to do any work? That conflict, I spent so much time and energy trying to resolve that conflict. I didn't do work. In fact, I didn't start projects because I had to get this figured out. In both cases, it came down to realizing these are tools, they're not a religion, they're not a personification of my beliefs or who I am. They are simply tools I use to do my work. And so with that level of freedom in both, well, I kind of feel like I've just released an anchor. Like the chains are off and I can go full speed ahead. It feels like it's representing as a massive burst of creativity and energy and all I want to do right now is work. And from that clip, as you can tell, we're talking about th this is my tool. And right now until, you know, Lightworks gets up with the times, gets some CUDA support in there, to allow me to edit my 4K footage very smoothly, I will be back to Arch full time. Although Arch has been kind of making me mad as of late. There's been a few bugs. I'm not sure if it's Mate or GTK3 related, but these couple of glitches are driving me bonkers. One of the first ones is, is as you can see here, I am trying to click around whenever I click file open on any program Every time I select the top one and double click on it, it jumps two folders in. What the heck? Yeah, 
who that? I mean, I even Googled for hours trying to figure out how to fix this problem. And as far as I know, nobody sees it as a bug or even knows this exists. It must just be my problem or a Monte problem. I don't know, but it's driving me bonkers. And on top of that, when I go to edit my theme, you know, I want to change some colors. Now, now all the color options are all grayed out. I can't change them anymore. Why? 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 Why is Monte removing the customization features? I'm really, 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 really sick of it. Urgh. Yeah. I just needed to rant about that. I think I'm going to go budgie for my Arch experience because I think I'm kind of done with Mate because it's starting to look a little bit like uh, Gnome 3. Yes, it basically is anymore. They're just going that direction, and I don't like the direction it's going. It's, it's, it's making me mad, and I think it's time to change desktop environments. If you have any better suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. And here is the poll as you guys voted on Anthrit.com. You said uh, 28 of you said uh, Windows 10 would outperform. And 33 of you said Arch Linux would win. Unfortunately, as we can see from these results, Windows 10 won. So the Arch Linux fanboys, I'm one myself, is going to have to take a hit here. Just a small hit. And actually, I'm going to kind of change this up a little bit. Since the margin between the two was so... Uh, so small, I'm going to have to go to say that Windows 10 and Arch Linux perform exactly the same. There's no difference. For exception of video editing, we're using a CUDA support. The two performed exactly the same. We're talking very small margins in the areas they won. So for the most part, I'm going to I'm going to say they're both equal in this department of performance. I'm not surprised, same hardware, just different operating systems. And some of the problems that I had, such as the 4K video editing, that is software related and is not operating system related. Come on, Adobe, give us your program on uh, on Linux because, man, you got a lot of good bells and whistles in you. Yeah, you're really good. Or Lightworks, come on, come on, give us CUDA support. Come on, get with the times, you know, 2017 now. So with that, I'm going to end this geeking off episode, people. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope uh, you guys got some insight here, too. I mean, this is interesting. I was kind of surprised with the results as well. I was actually expecting Arch to come on full on top and just slam everything. So this has been Anthony from Anthware. And from this time and every time on, folks, keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware. Signing off.